Wait before you go I just gotta let you know Every time you're close You're pushing me Yeah, you're pushing me Good morning, YouTube. Monday morning, sun is shining. We've got that positive energy going and we're standing right now in this brand new pocket listing that just hit in the market this very second. A pocket listing, you won't find information about it anywhere else, but when you do, it's a jewel. It's a modern house with Andalusian touches to it. A beautiful, stunning property that I'm so excited to show you and you're gonna be the first one to know about it. And talking about the house, we've got a plot of four and a half thousand square meters. Built size of the house is 1,250 square meters. Seven bedroom suites, you can have another bedroom if you need to, and an asking price of 12 and a half million euros, furnished to the maximum. And this house has it all. We're talking about double heights, swimming pool outside, inside heater. We've got a massive, huge cinema room, a wine cellar, that I haven't seen in many houses, I tell you. Then we've got gymnasium. We've got a garage for eight to 10 cars. Look at all this space out here. And the master suite is absolutely amazing. So you ready for this? Okay, let's start with the entrance hall. The moment the car drives in, you've got a huge amount of space here, which is the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about how they design the house. You've got at least car park for four or five cars nice fountain detail which adds that extra touch to the atmosphere of the entrance lots of palm trees lots of garden decoration and all of this is just the beginning of course there's led lighting that we can see already next to the entrance even though it's daylight and let's check it out inside well as we come on in we've got a big white pivoting door little glass details on the side and glass also on top in the double height over here so we get more light you get a quick glimpse into the kitchen which is special and we'll have a look at it a bit later got a lift guest toilet two bedroom suites over there and the moment we walk into the living room check out the decorations really really nice the use of rugs all the details the flowers everything is so beautiful and so stunning of course double height Above, you're gonna see now in a minute, a glimpse of the two working spaces. It's like an extra office space with great views. One of the best views we've got upstairs here. Nice views, even though the house is very modern, but we still have all these details that remind of Andalusian architecture throughout. Next to the main center sitting area, we have the dining and another sitting TV room, which for properties of this caliber, when the asking price is above 10 million and you have so much volume, it's important to have different sitting areas, different outside areas, because normally you expect quite a lot of people to use the house. And this house, that was one of the things that impressed me the most, the amount of all the different sitting areas that it has, including the outside spaces, are very unique. We're gonna show that very, very soon right now, but before we do that, Talking about this room, beautifully designed once again, we've got a nice linear fireplace, the white ceramic, this extra corner details that are done specially for the decoration are awesome. And I like also how it combines directly with the design of the main living room area. Then all of this space is connected, of course, with all the outside space, with the huge pool that we'll see in a sec. Everything, once again, beautifully decorated. On the other side, we have this gorgeous dining space that connects the living room with the kitchen at the back. I mean, take a look at the chairs, at all the details, the lamps, the paintings on the walls, which are very singular, and each room has its own touch. Got a nice, chunky, big table. Then there are some pocket doors that connects us with the kitchen, which actually is huge, has double of everything, its own TV room even, but we'll see that in a second. Before that, I'd like to take you to the outside, which as I mentioned before, is very special. Of course, Technal windows, very high quality. The same big white ceramic tiles continue outside to the terrace, but now with an anti-slippery cover. The outside first main sitting area is very big, we've got the porch protecting us from the sun. And then we have immediately the huge swimming pool with an interesting 
blue tiles with a bit of a rustic touch to them very wide check out the size of the pool we've got the entrance in the center very symmetric with an overflow on the other side enjoying this mountain with a little bit of the sea view as well big sand beds on both sides and a lot a lot of outside terraces the orientation of the property is south so you get sun pretty much all day round the sunsets here are stunning then the other two bedrooms that are on the ground floor access the same terrace from here then we've got three more bedroom suites upstairs with sharing the terrace nice andalusian touches with the roof right and over here if you have a look there's a really nice preview of the zen garden that we will be seeing later on which is connected directly with the interior gymnasium and then opens up to all this beautiful space with more garden elements. We can see the main entrance from here as well. As I mentioned before, lots of different corners throughout, like this extra Balinese bed overlooking the golf views because this property is front like golf. And if you're asking yourself, where are we? We're in the Marbella Club Golf Resort, which was established by the five-star Marbella Club Hotel consists of not so many properties more or less of this level there's plenty of construction happening in here and a lot of people building their homes and the urbanization is really increasing in value we've got the frontline golf 18 holes there's also the question center a restaurant which is run by the marbella club hotel top level and of course we have 24-hour security from where you're standing you can have a glance of the community of the marbella club resort which reminds me a little bit of the Zagaleta, also Benavis Town Hall. We've got really nice palm trees around the whole perimeter of the plot, which are lit at night. Another beautiful view of the main property facade, which is stunning. I like really the black touches of the windows, which give a bit of contrast to the white. Massive pool in the middle once again, lots of sitting areas. And we carry on to the other side, which actually in normal circumstances, this would be pretty much it. But this house has all these other extra areas that we're going to see right now. The beauty of it being completely flat and one level all throughout. We've got an amazing outside space over here, which is adjacent to the rest of the space that we've seen before. Great barbecue spot with a pizza oven directly connected with the kitchen. Then we've got a massive dining table with another second massive dining table which you can join for a huge party have people come in here directly from the carport without going through the house or have them separate as it is at the moment beautiful olive tree don't miss it in this bonsai style cut then there are toilets showers as well and very important is this space which is another extra addition away from the rest of the house you have a beautiful sitting area overlooking the golf course you're just above the golf course at the moment it is truly beautiful then the sun sets on that side and you get all the afternoon sun in here looking at the beautiful property that you own once you bought it after this property tour came out on monday and what else do you want well we have more take a look at this place We've got manicured gardens in this corner, plenty of things to do around here. It could be a mini golf pitch for your practice just before you go down to the big golf. Or I can perfectly imagine if you throw a huge party, this being filled on tables and guests all around. I mean, the house we've seen before is a really family home, but still there's so much space here to do a nice party that I think it suits both types of clients, family type or more party people but on top of that we even have a nice romantic corner right here at the far end of the property definitely one more special add-on to the house because you know the beauty of it as i mentioned previously sitting in the chill out zone that the sun sets right in front of me and this thing at night lights up completely so with a glass of wine with some friends it's a really nice spot. Having so many outdoor areas all around your home and then all that extra stuff that we will see in the basement is truly priceless and makes your experience of a home unique and unforgettable. On the way back to the house, I'd like to bring to your attention the ramp that we have going into the garage. So wide and so smooth, any car can drive in no problem at all and look at all the pine trees surrounding the property. That's one of the beauties of living a little bit up in the mountain with all the nature. 
The showers for the pool are here in the corner hidden and by now hopefully you got a good understanding of all the outdoor spaces that this property has which for me is very special and is one of the things that makes the house stand out. You ready to check out the rest of the house? Let's carry on. And finally one of my favorites in this house which is the kitchen. Well first of all it's massive connects directly with the carport outside so you can bring in all your stuff. Check out the island, how huge it is connecting with the breakfast table. All this funky decoration happening all around, we've got the cool wallpaper. And before we even go into the kitchen, next to the entrance, we've got this beautiful little sitting area, reminds a little bit of the decor of the living room as well. Same concept of the ceramic with the wood. And have a look at this cool detail, it's actually water that evaporates you can have different colors and it's pretty cool as well because you don't need really a chimney or anything like that got floor heating throughout we have double of everything in this kitchen then the island is pretty intelligently used we've got shelves on both sides fridge freezer fridge and freezer as i mentioned double everything led lighting indirect around the ceiling pretty cool nice window as well when you're working in here you're aware of everything that's going on outside looking out to the carport natural light we've got plenty of working surfaces including that bit in the corner all the appliances are gagging now dark wood big fan i love kitchens where you can actually have that sitting area breakfast area all integrated together I think it's a great family time spending. Now, we're gonna go in the bedrooms, okay? But after that, wait to see the basement where it's just really awesome. There's like another house down there. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it ticks every single box. Whatever you love, you'll find it down there. Back to the hallway. On this level, at the far end of the corridor, we have two bedroom suites with their own walk-in wardrobe. The bedrooms are really nicely decorated. Both of them also south facing, looking out to the garden, looking out into the sea view, the mountain view, with their own little corner of the terrace on the side. I also like how long the corridor is that sets all the bedrooms way apart from the house. On this side, we have the guest toilet, some walk-in wardrobe for the entrance, and now we go upstairs. Pretty cool staircase, nicely decorated, lots of windows once again. Get a glance of the entrance view, plenty of palm trees surrounding us. And as we get upstairs, we get to this quite typical reception area for the upper floor. But in this house, that has been planned as a potential working space, which I love because I know you want to work sometimes from an office, but when you work at home and making use of this kind of lost space to do that, I think is great. Again, the views are stunning, got plenty of open space, which is much nicer than being in a closed squared box. I mean, check it out for yourself. On the other side, we've got the lift which is nicely positioned next to the master suite, so you don't have to walk too much, right? And we enter the master bedroom. Very spacious, with quite a few things to talk about in here. Take a look at this wood paneling for the TV in front of the bedroom, which always gives that extra touch. Likewise, on the other side, above the bed, we have the ceramic instead of the normal paint, which you don't see a lot in many houses, but it brings that little more extra quality to the room. I guess, got a chaise long, big rug for that warm effect. Then we have corner windows with the big windows in the middle and connected directly with your own huge terrace just for this bedroom with the best views of the house. Overlooking your garden, a massive pool. Maybe I can even jump into it from here. <laughs> Then you've got the golf course, the lake view, mountains, a bit of Gibraltar as well. Awesome. Stepping back inside to the master bedroom, we've got the walk-in wardrobe on the other side, which is a great addition. Very spacious, got skylights on top of it, bringing all that natural light and it also can be opened and closed for air ventilation. On this side is the master bathroom with the same dark touches to the main white colors. The bath in the middle set on a piedestal with the LED lighting underneath is huge. Two people minimum overlooking this nice views in the private corner. Double vanity, really cool dark faucets. A huge double shower with toilets in a separate corner. Surround music system, both in the bathroom and the bedroom. An amazing amount of light coming in from all the rooms. 
It truly is a beautiful master bedroom. On the other side, we have three more bedroom suites which are separated again by a long corridor. All the bedrooms are looking out to the south, to the sea views, to the garden views and are very independent. The bathrooms have fantastic qualities throughout, surround music system in every room as well. Sharing this great outside terrace space that connects all the bedrooms and is away from the master suite terrace. So all together, this first floor is a great family floor because you've got four bedroom suites all together, master and three on that side, quite far away from each other. Downstairs, we have the two bedroom suites, remember the far corner, which are more for guests probably. And then in the basement, we have the staff quarters, which will be number seven. Great space over here. And let's check out the basement. The cinema room. Well, I know that long time ago, no one's impressed by a cinema room, but you have to admit this thing is kind of special. It's a wow effect all by itself. And I tell you, when we see all the other rooms, every single one of them is a wow effect in this house in the basement. We've got this round sofa, which is so special. I'm a huge fan of it. I love it. Way better than all the cinema sofas that you usually get to see. The wood paneling on the walls with the hidden LED lighting is spectacular. The round ceiling with the sky illumination on top is beautiful. And then, as I mentioned, we've got another totally huge area to it with the bar stools, some sitting area, some snacking. We've got the bar area for some drinks. Lots of, lots of cool paintings on the walls. Right? Let's check out the wine cellar, which is amazing. Tell me, have you ever dreamt about having a wine cellar in your house? Have you ever imagined it? Well, take all those expectations about having your own wine cellar and double it. And after that, triple it, because check this space out. I mean, come on. We've got a decorative fireplace, huge TV in a wine cellar. Why do you want a TV in a wine cellar? Well, you need it. Then, 10 people here, proper dining experience away from the rest of the house. You can do something really special here. And take a look how much space you have for the bottles, all of them being so beautifully expositioned as part of the decoration of the whole room on both sides. Any size of bottle fits in here, beautiful. And on top of that, because you have so much bottles, you have so much people, you have to get them opening pretty fast, one, the next, <laughs> right? Everything is well thought through. Then, of course, we have a gymnasium with lots of natural light coming in. Great size, you don't need any more at all. Got plenty of machines. Then you've got this outdoor space as well, which is amazing to work out in your basement, but then it's not a basement at all. We've got the fountain feature, this Zen garden, then the staircase that connects you directly with the upstairs where the pool is and all the garden. Another thing about this room is that if you do not need it as a gym, the main entrance is up there. It is very simple to build a staircase onto this level if you want to create a separate entrance into here and for example, make the bedroom number eight out of this space. That'd be another fantastic addition to the house if you have a, all the children that want to have their own privacy. On top of that, we have a kitchenette space and a full equipped bathroom for any of those ideas. Even a small TV area that can be then upgraded depending on what you want to do to a bigger TV area, eliminate it completely for more gym equipment or leave it as that initial living space for the future eighth bedroom if you like the idea. Well, I did promise that this house ticks all the boxes, right? And it does. Have a look at this amazing spa. One of my favorites. It's spacious, not too huge, but has so many details and so many cool features to it. You've got the jacuzzi up on that side with the TV as well. Really awesome indoor swimming pool. Then you have the sauna, the hammam, pretty much everything you need is in here. And lots of chill out areas, always important. Surround music system, LED lighting. I bet the blue light in the pool can be changed with a remote control, just haven't found it. And you know, one problem I see with all this basement is that I haven't figured it out how it works yet because what do you do? First you do cinema, wine cellar, gym, spa or is it cinema, gym, wine cellar, spa? Or spa, cinema, wine cellar, spa, wine cellar, spa? And last but not least, 
an eight car huge garage i mean that's a gle and see how much space there is around it still got four spaces here for the back two huge garage doors and remember all the nice entrances that we had out there that you've seen before pretty awesome right on top of that on this level we also have a separate stuff apartment with a separate entrance from the outside we have a guest toilet just for this floor and a big laundry space well guys as you can probably tell we're coming to the end of our property tour this has been an absolutely brand new modern mansion just came to the market today for the first time ever with a price tag of 12 and a half million euros i just want to point out well, how long is the facade here front line on the golf course on a plot of four and a half thousand square meters completely flat a built volume of 1250 square meters we had seven bedroom suites with the possibility to add an additional one we had all the features in the basement you can even think of or dream of ever and all this extra space outside if you remember which is so special and made it so different don't forget the amazing sitting area outdoor overlooking the golf course thank you for being with us i'll see you next monday